One of the competitions organized by the Lagos State Ministry of Education in partnership with New Era Foundation aimed at fulfilling the ultimate goal while highlighting their intellectual capabilities is the Spelling Bee Competition. The 2015 edition of the competition in the primary school category, which was recently organized, had 57 contestants representing the 57 local council areas in the state competing with one another as the Spelling their way to victory. Spell the word airport. A I R P O R T. Correct. Spell the word entertain. E N T E R T A I N. Correct. The word is jubilee. It means a special anniversary, especially when you're celebrating the 25th or 50th year of something. J B I L E E. Correct. Chimpanzee. C H I M P A N Z E E. Correct. Bazooka. It means a short range tabula rocket launcher used against, you know, tanks. Bazooka. B A Z O O K A. Correct. Ballerina. B A L L E R I N A. Correct. Hina remarks the Director General Office of Education Quality Assurance, Mrs. Rungesh Yombo, made it known that since 2006, when the competition was conceived, it has encouraged academic excellence. I would like to assure you all that the Office of Education Quality Assurance, Ministry of Education, as a newly created agency has already set in motion machineries aimed at improving the quality of education in Lagos State. Our sincere appreciation goes to His Excellency, our daddy, for the sustenance of this laudable program. And I believe our children can only reciprocate this gesture by excelling in academics. At the end of the competition, 12-year-old Buluati Fetijani from Araromi Primary School, Agege, emerged the winner. The word is embezzle. It's a French word. It means to misappropriate money placed in one's trust or other one's control. Embezzle. While 10 year old Iretiola Ifani, a primary five pupil from Methodist Primary School, Ibishi, came second. The word is casserole. C A S S E R O L E. Correct. 10 year old Jonathan Arowodu of Akeson Primary School came third. Albatross. A L B A C R O L E. Stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up, stand up, stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up, stand up, stand up for the champions, for the champions. The Lagos State Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Olayinka Oladunjui, expressed her joy at the level of success recorded so far in the education sector. Evidently, as you can see, they can speak better now, they can spell better, their English language has improved by what we can see today, and I'm happy because they can compete very well with children in private schools. She also charged parents to live up to their responsibility of bringing up their children the appropriate way. They should continue to just uh, stay with their children and take care of their children is their role is their responsibility they shouldn't delegate that to anybody no house help no housemaid no nanny it's their duty to take care of their children and you will see that when they take care of their children give them the right opportunities the right environment to read it will impact positively on the children and we can see, we'll be able to see it and children will do well in very in very in the future the director general office of education quality assurance mrs Runke Shayombo, while speaking with education report on tv stated that for pupils and students in lagos public schools the sky is the limit we are benchmarking ourselves not just with nigerian children now but we are benchmarking 
benchmarking ourselves with all the children outside the country as well. And we hope to actually produce the best children. And my aim is to close the gap between the public school and the private school. So whatever potentials we have in private school, you can still replicate that in our public schools. I mean, you saw what the children did today. You saw the performance because it's not just about maths and literacy. It's about developing the whole child. The winner of the 2015 Spelling Bee competition in the primary school category, Bolua Tifeti Jani from Araromi Primary School, spoke on how happy he was to have emerged the winner. Today I feel very excited and I say thank you to the government. Some of the guests present at the competition also shared their views. For the primary schools, um, we are happy for the outcome. The winners have emerged and they have done their best. We want um, people that will do better than the present set of um, learners in our future competitions. This year is a big difference from the previous years. And that is also part of the government's attitude in wanting to do things better and better. I think the creation of the office of the quality assurance had made a huge difference. Uh, and you can see for yourselves, you know, it, it's, it's a major breakthrough from what it used to be. Our mission at GSK is to improve the quality of human life by enabling them to do more feel better and live longer and we are sponsoring this program in recognition of that fact. Definitely it's a laudable project and as long as we are able to, we will continue to sponsor. The Spelling Bee competition is the brainchild of Senator Olure Mutinumbu, founder of New Era Foundation and it has helped students improve their vocabulary skills, thereby touching their lives positively. Little wonder students in Lagos State look forward to this competition with so much excitement and preparation.